So whenever I work with salt, I always get comments, you should do something with pepper. And you know what? Let's do something with pepper. I'm gonna be using polyester resin. As I've said before, this is some of the worst smelling stuff I've ever worked with, but it allows you to make deep castings. I'm going to use three drops of catalyst per ounce. 18. While I'm doing this, I realized I haven't, un I haven't opened up the peppercorns yet. And I don't know if I wanna add the peppercorns to the resin, or if I want to add the resin to the peppercorns. Both ways are going to induce bubbles. I think I want to add the resin to the peppercorns. They're bottled by weight. I don't know why I thought that was by volume. So I was actually expecting these, I was expecting to have to use all of them. Uh, so that's actually a pleasant surprise. That takes this project from $20 down to around $6. All right, you can see there's already tons of bubbles on the side. I get that a lot in the comments. You should get a vacuum chamber. And it's not that I don't appreciate a vacuum chamber. It's that I want people to be able to do these projects without having to buy a lot of stuff. Resin is already expensive. There's already a lot of stuff you have to buy. You know, throwing down an extra, I don't know, a couple hundred bucks on a vacuum chamber just seems like a lot to me. So I'd rather folks see what you can do without one. And if you get into this and you get into casting heavily, you know what? Go buy a vacuum chamber. It will make life easier. But I want you to know you can do this without all of the expensive extras. Okay, so it's been, uh, I wanna say like two days since I made this and um, okay, it's out of the mold, feels really hard. I'm actually a little nervous about turning this. I think it's gonna be a little aromatic, um, but the bottom of the cup had a cool ridge and it looks like it's gonna seat perfectly on the lid. What we're making is this. It's an antique pe pepper mill. And the mechanism uh, is up here, and all this really is is just a base for holding it, and it's got a one inch hole in the bottom. This is Purple Heart that came from Steve Ramsey's shop. When I went down to visit, it, visit him, he actually gave me this block of Purple Heart. Okay, yeah, <coughs> we have a one inch hole. So what I need to do now is change the chuck jaws and turn this around. When my face gets all sweaty, what I normally do, because my hands are dusty, is I wipe it off on my sleeve. But <laughs> my sleeve is covered in peppercorn dust, which means that my face now feels like it's on fire. I'm weaponizing pepper. Pepper spray. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Oh. Oh, my whole face is on fire. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it just feels like I've got a major sunburn on my face and my eyes just won't stop streaming. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. Oh my gosh. I gotta take a break. I gotta go inside. I'll be back in a little bit and we can Finish this up. This is turned to a shape that um, that is good enough because um, I, I don't think I can do any more. 
turning on this. And I'm going to sand it starting with um, 120 and just working up from there. So I'm using my micro mesh. Um, I've used this a lot in the past. It works really well with resin and it, it starts at 1200 and goes to 12,000. It's all turned. You can see what we've got. I like how the bottom still has the whole peppercorns in it. And it's got a nice shape. It's not as smooth as I'd like, but I think that's just a function of having all these exposed peppercorns. All right, assembly couldn't be any simpler. It is two screws. All right, just kind of center it. And I'm just going to use an awl to mark my holes. There you go. Just what I needed. It's more pepper on my bench. Dip it number nine is done. And um, I think I can be honest, this probably wasn't my favorite project. I like the look of the peppercorns on the bottom. I think it's a really interesting contrast to the sides where you've got the sort of interior with the whole peppercorns on the bottom. It's a cool contrast, but it's something that's maybe, I don't know, kind of retro to me, late 70s, early 80s. So it's not really my favorite look. And all of you who left comments that were featured in the beginning, Doing the peppercorn thing, I want you to know you're all on notice for trying to murder me. Strike one. But I really do appreciate you leaving comments, you sharing these, you liking them. It actually does help me out. I make a lot of projects based on viewer comments, so keep them coming. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe.